a standard normal distribution so again we'll continue with the examples just i want to revise so we are going to use z is equal to x minus mu upon rho which is nothing but standard normal variate and again we'll go the specific formulas uh, p of z less than of z1 is going to called as 0 0.5 plus phi of z1 and p of z greater than z2 is going to consider as 0 0.5 minus phi of z2 so with the help of this so i will take the next question in a normal distribution 31 percent of the items are under 45 and 8 percent of items are over 64 let uh, mu uh, so here in a normal distribution 31 percent of the items are under 45 and 8 percent of items are over 64 find the mean and standard deviation of the distribution so here we need to find the mean and standard deviation so i will consider let mu be the mean and uh, now in the normal distribution so to get this one so we need to just see the given data first so they have said that 31 percent of items are under 45 means given p of x so how many items 31 percent of items are under 45 so means under means what here you have to take what here less under means less than 45 items are how many here how many percent 31 percent so 31 percent is nothing but i will consider this one is nothing but 0 0.31 similarly 8 percent of items are over 64 means p of x greater over means greater than 64 which is nothing but uh, how many percent it is 8 percent 8 percent is nothing but 0 0.08 so this is a given data uh, in the question so with the help of this to uh, given data we need to find mu and a standard deviation that is mean and standard deviation of the given distribution as we know that z formula is what here x minus mu divided by standard deviation this is z formula so right now we don't know mu value and rho value but we can substitute the value of x by using these two conditions now when when x is equal to 45 when x is equal to 45 which implies the z value will be z is equal to 45 minus mu divided by rho and i will consider this one as z1 answer so this answer i got i will consider as z1 similarly we have x greater than 64 again when x is 64 the value of z will be 64 minus mu upon rho and i will consider this one as z2 so both i consider z1 and z2 so therefore this equation will become in terms of uh, standard normal variate so we will going to replace this x by z as p of p of instead of x it will become z is less than instead of 45 and 45 we are getting the answer is 45 minus mu upon rho which is I am going to consider as z1 I will write z1 is equal to what we have here 0 0.31 and and second one p of z greater than z2 because 64 minus mu upon rho is going to consider as z2 is how much here it is 0 0.08 so we'll uh, simplify this one by one so as we know that in the basic formula if p of z less than symbol is there it is nothing but 0.5 plus phi of this value z1 is equal to 0 0.31 similarly so here 
it is also great uh, it is greater than means it will be 0.5 minus because of greater minus phi of z2 is equal to 0.08 or 0.5 you shift to the right hand side so we'll get what here phi of z1 is equal to 0.31 so shift it minus 0.5 or or phi of z1 will become point of 0 0.31 minus 0.5 we'll get how much here it is minus 0 0.19 and here we'll from this we'll get what here so you shift this minus of phi of z to the other side it will become plus phi of z2 is equal to it will be 0.5 shifted minus 0.08 so phi of z2 will be it is 0.42 so we got these two results so we need to check these two results in the table so here I will just give the direct values from the table now so again I have, will continue so phi of z1 is equal to minus 0.19 we got the answer phi of z2 we got what here 0.42 so from the table I have taken the value so uh, phi of 0.5 is going to be uh, it is a value uh, phi of 0.5 value is 0.19 and phi of 1.4 is nothing but the value of what here 0.42 or I can say that 0.19 can be replaced by phi of 0.5 and 0.42 can be replaced by phi of 1.4 so these two above equation will become so phi of z1 is equal to minus 0 0.19 0 0.19 this value can be replaced by phi of 0.5 and similarly phi of z2 is equal to 0 0.42 0 0.42 can be replaced by phi of 1.4 so this phi and phi cancels we got the value of z1 is equal to minus 0 0.5 and and phi and phi cancels z2 value will be 1.4 so these two values you have to go back and you have to replace in this place in this place 45 minus mu upon rho is equal to z1 in place of z1 what we got just now value we have to replace and in place of uh, z2 we have to replace the what value so therefore therefore 45 minus mu divided by standard deviation is equal to minus 0 0.5 and similarly so second equation we have 64 minus mu upon rho is equal to z2 z2 is 1.4 so therefore you simplify cross multiply 45 minus mu is equal to minus 0.5 rho or shift this mu to the right hand side so mu minus 0.5 rho is equal to 45 we got one equation in terms of mu and rho and similarly here also so cross multiply 64 minus mu is equal to 1.4 times rho or we can rewrite shift this mu to the right hand side mu plus 1.4 rho is equal to 64 we got two more equations so two simultaneous equations we need to solve so we'll take the calculator and we'll simplify this as now will apply the value coefficient so x whatever x value will get from the uh, calculator is nothing but the value of mu uh, y will be considered as value of uh, standard deviation that is rho so coefficient of mu is 1 so press 1 equal to coefficient of rho is minus 0 0.5 equal to constant is 45 equal to next second coefficient of mu is 1 equal to coefficient of rho is 1.4 equal to constant is 64 so what we got so mu x is nothing but mu mu is 50 and rho is 10 so therefore 
therefore mu is equal to 50 which is nothing but mean and rho is equal to how much here it is 10 so I can conclude that so thus mean is 50 and standard deviation is 10 next question is in an examination 7% of students score less than 35% of marks and 89% of students scores less than 60% marks find the mean and standard deviation of the marks normally distributed it is given that here they have given the value that is p of 1.2263 is nothing but 0.39 and p of 1.4 4757 is equal to 0 0.43 usually you will get uh, values in the examination also so the same question let mu and rho be the mean and standard deviation of the normal distribution given so the what they have given in examination 7% of the student score less than 35 marks means out of 100 they will score 35 so don't consider this 35% so you had to out of 100 they have taken uh, how much here 35 marks so that's why it is p of x less than 35 is how much here 7 percent which is nothing but 0 0.07 similarly second continuation so 89 percent of student score less than 60 marks that is 60 percent means 60 marks that is p of x less than 60 is nothing but 89 percent which is 0 0.89 so we got this is a given data from the question now we know that z is given by x minus mu upon rho so we need we can we need to find the value of mu and rho now so we can fill the value of x as when x is equal to 35 from this uh, it is uh, z is equal to 35 minus mu upon rho which is nothing but z1 and when x is equal to 60 so z will become 60 minus mu upon rho is equal to z2 same as how we have taken previous example now so we'll apply this here so hence we can write this one as p of x less than uh, 35 is equal to 0 0.07 this can be written as what here instead of x it will be z instead of 35 it will become what here z1 similarly the same expression will get here also so using these two equations we need to simplify by p of z less than z1 how to uh, simplify here as 0.5 plus phi of z1 is equal to 0 0.07 and uh, both are what here actually both results are uh, less than less than so therefore we will get 0 0.5 plus phi of z2 is equal to 0 0.89 so we got the second expression so shift this 0.5 to the right hand side and simplify we will get phi of z1 is equal to minus 0 0.43 and similarly the other part will become out here phi of z2 is equal to 0 0.39 but as per the question they have given 0 0.39 is nothing but what here phi so you can say now it is phi because i am using the symbol phi but they have given in the question p you can take it as phi also so it is nothing but 1.2263 so in place of 0 0.39 here it is 0 0.39 will be replaced as what here phi of 1.2263 and in place of 0 0.43 only this 0 0.43 will be replaced by phi of 1.4757 so phi phi cancel z1 value is nothing but 1.4757 and z2 value is 1.2263 so this z1 and z2 we need to apply in the expression where we have taken z1 and z2 apply rearrange the expressions so we'll get a two simultaneous equation in terms of mu and uh, standard deviation that is mu and rho so using calculator we'll get the answer and this is the required mean and standard deviation of the given question so like that we need to simplify and these kind of examples are more important for examination point of view in the normal distribution